What's up guys, Cody here back with a new video, <clears throat> and as you can hear, see here, obviously we're talking about X-Men, with Logan coming out this week, which I will be going to see hopefully Sunday, and hopefully you guys will be seeing a review after that, um, not really sure when, I got some stuff going on Monday, so it won't be Monday, um, but sometime after Sunday we'll get a review of it, and hopefully I might have a guest, a friend might be joining me in the video to have a discussion about the movie and what we thought about it, <clears throat> but with that coming out, I want to talk about X-Men, so, which is why I have this picture here. So, the movies have done okay. Um, first X-Men was good. The other two, I didn't. I thought they were horrible. And then once you get into the <clears throat> the future past and all that shit, they get a little bit better, but still, they're really confusing. Um, and really, for the most part, with all these characters, really the only one that's been getting me that was well thought of was Wolverine, was Logan, Hugh Jackman. Now... This is his final one that he is doing. Um, and on that note, he has mentioned, and I don't know if it's for sh true that he said this or just rumor, he has mentioned that if Marvel would buy the rights to either X-Men or Wolverine, whatever, that he would continue doing it. And I think that is a fantastic idea. Now, um, now if the, I don't care if they fully bought all, out the rights of X-Men. I think they should do something like they did, Sony did with Spider-Man, where they kind of let Marvel borrow the rights to him <clears throat> to make movies with him and they can't they're not making like just a solo you know of him he, they're using him in Civil War and now he's getting his own movie from Sony and Marvel and he's co he's both he's Marvel franchise and Sony so they're both getting profit from it Sony's not having to do as much work you know it's a win-win for either way so I really think Fox should do that with him or just sell Marvel the rights either one now the reason I say that is let me move this image uh, is because of this. All right, so right here would be an amazing movie to make, which was the Avengers vs. X Men, which came out in like 2012 or something like that. It was a crossover, amazing, amazing series. If you have not read it, go find it. I think you can buy just a thick hard copy or paperback the entire story in one. It's an amazing, amazing story. Now, there's so much potential they could do with this because of the fact that Marvel is running out of. Uh, stories they could take from the comic books um, with the characters they have. Now they have plenty of other characters they could use that are less known that would probably turn out well, kind of like the Guardians. A lot of people didn't know who the Guardians were. The movie did great. So there's a lot of characters they could do with that, but a lot of people want to see characters they do know. You know, you got the Avengers, you got the X-Men, Guardians now, Fantastic Four, Stuff like that. There's so many crossovers they could do if Marvel had the rights to all these characters, or at least partial rights to where they could use them in their movies. And this being the main one I'd want to see. Because after Infinity Wars, you know, they haven't announced what they're doing after that. I'm sure um, Captain America will be gone, Iron Man will be gone, Hulk will be gone, because a lot of those actors are done playing the roles. So this would be perfect. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly like this series work, because like I said, Captain America's leaving. You know, they might use um, uh, Bucky Barnes or any of those, or Falcon. I'm not sure yet what they're doing with that uh, side plot kind of thing. But not only could they do this, they could also do, so we got Thor Ragnarok coming out right now, which is supposed to be partially a Thor movie, and then they've combined Thor Ragnarok with Planet Hulk, which is weird sounding, but I think that might turn out really well. But a big thing I'd love to see, which... At this point, it is too late because the movie is already in production, so this couldn't happen. But would be this. This is Planet Hulk, Silver Surfer, Hulk versus Silver Surfer. Now, this is kind of a side note about this isn't X Men. This is Fantastic Four, which is also owned by Fox. So it's another thing where I really wish they'd sell the rights to them because Fox has done a horrible job with all three Fantastic Four movies, and you only seen Silver Surfer in that once. So it would be really awesome if they would just go ahead, sell off the rights to Fantastic Four, let Marvel take that, let them make it a good series that you're going to want to like or want to enjoy. Because Fantastic Four, it's kind of a corny, you know, uh, team, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's nothing fantastic. No pun intended there. Um, but I think Marvel could do a really good job with them. Like I said, with all these crossovers they could do with... X-Men Fantastic Four, X-Men Avengers, stuff like that. And what would be so awesome, because if they did get the rights to Fantastic Four, is in, this, in the comics they've had 
um, the Thing from Fantastic Four, he actually became a Guardian. And he became one of the members in the Guardians of the Galaxy. So they have potential for that side plot. Um, what else is there? Um, Agent Venom becomes a Guardian. <clears throat> which, I mean, that's on Sony's half. I'm just kind of talking in a hole here. What they could do if they combined all these franchises and let Marvel make these movies. You know, Sony gets profit. Fox gets profit. If they do, like, a shared thing. Um, so you could uh, Agent Venom could be a Guardian. The Thing could be a Guardian. Um, I think at one point even Kitty Pride takes over as um, Star-Lord, which that, I was kind of iffy about that. But there's so many amazing things they could do with Marvel if they could work something out to where they could get, you know, get so many things. Like, just, this looks amazing. If we could see something like this, I mean, it would bring so many more people into it because, I mean, I'm not, but a lot of people are losing... Patience, I guess not really patience. They're getting bored of these movies. And obviously, they're still doing great in box office, you know, so they don't have to worry about that. But there are a lot of people that just go watch them to see what's, go you know, because they've invested so much time that they really don't care anymore because they're just getting bored of it. I mean, that happens in, you know, so many movies and show genres, you know, kind of start to lose their groove just because they've done it so much and they're getting bored of it. So if you could do, you know, branch out and do some new things that they haven't seen before, you know, like Silver Surfer versus the Hulk, or members of the Fantastic Four in Guardians, member of the X-Men in Guardians, you know, I mean, Wolverine and Spider-Man, um, so many things they could do if they would just work out a way, some kind of agreement to combine all this, you know, however they want to do it, sell it, you know, share it, whatever. <clears throat> Now, that's just my opinion on it. I mean, I'm sure you guys have an opinion on it, too. And if you do, let me know. Let me know what you think. If that's a good idea, if you don't think they should do it, um, what you think they're leading to as far as Marvel goes, what you think they're going to do after Infinity Wars, um, you know, because, I mean, technically a lot of the people should die in Infinity Wars. Now, if they're going to do that or not, I don't know. Because, um, I mean, they haven't really kept close to the comics, which I'm fine with. The movie's done great without that. They've made it their own. But... I really think they should start thinking in a bigger picture. I mean, Marvel's been great about planning out for years and years. You know, they've from Iron Man 1, they've planned out to Thanos. I mean, I guess technically even, which one, one of the Hulks, they kind of start teased this. I don't remember if it was the Edward Norton one or the, uh, I don't remember which one it was. One of the older Hulk movies that um, came out, they started kind of leaning towards what was, you know, getting to this, getting from there to this, what they're at now. Um, so they could have some stuff planned out, you know, that we don't know about, they haven't announced yet, that could be great, and no, they might not. They might not know what the hell they're going to do after um, this ends, you know, because they're going to have to get a new set of um, Avengers. And I mean, granted, there's hundreds of different teams, East Coast, West Coast Avengers. Um, I think there's even a set of Avengers in Europe and UK. and I mean, there's so many, but I don't think they're going to go that route. Um, the West Coast Avengers, maybe, so if I'm not mistaken, they had, like, Maddito in that, which, that's another thing they can't do right now, because of X-Men. Um, but, so there's a lot of things they could do. But, I think it's gonna be, guys, it's kind of a little, a rant discussion topic that is probably right now with Logan coming out this week. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. And let me know if you guys want to see that, um, the review of Logan when I do go see the movie. Um, which, like I said, should be Sunday, hopefully. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later.